Extraordinary. The next act shot a fame as one half of the mighty Bush. He's a comedian. Yeah. Re- relax, girls, relax. We'll get there. He's a comedian and an actor known for his surreal and somewhat bizarre sense of humour. Well, he needs to focus because okay. this is Let's Dance, not some mad comedy show. It's no fielding. Hi, I'm Noel Fielding. I'm Britain's leading goth comedian. When Richard Curtis asked me to do Let's Dance for Comic Relief, obviously I said yes, um, but I'm not very good at dancing, so as it got closer and closer I started to panic and uh, eventually I thought, I can't do this, what am I going to do? So I thought, I know, I'll just hide in the woods, then that way I'll wait till it's finished and come out and no one will know, be perfect. Who's going to come looking for me? But then a miracle happened. I I was in the woods and this kind of fairy appeared to me, this tiny little figure. It was amazing. What? How's it going? I suppose the most shocking thing about it was her voice. I always imagined fairies to be much posher. But she said she was the spirit of the dance and could help me overcome my fear of dancing. We ain't got a moment to lose. To the studio! I'll get a cab then, shall I? Is this your dance studio? I am a fairy. Yeah, but even so, I mean, what's that about? The Cockney fairy had to break me down first. She humiliated me. All right, I'll get the leg warmers, yeah? But is this Tudor rough entirely necessary? That's not a rough. It's a neck tutu. So we worked through the night in montage form, and finally, it started to sink in. I started to understand what it really meant to dance. What it really meant to dance. Am I ready now? No. You are hopeless. But never mind. Magic dancing shoes made from the frozen tears of a unicorn. Is this a joke? It's just water in here. Must have melted, mate. Oh, I've got to go. You can't leave me. What am I going to do? <laughs> Don't leave me now. Basically, I think the training went pretty well. I just want to get out there now, really, and uh, give it my best shot. It'll be fine. Yep. Can I just say, if you will hide in the woods wearing a cream coat with a chinchilla trim, you will get caught by the fairies. Are you speaking from experience? No, don't pretend you weren't with me. Right. For comic relief, dancing What Else? Wuthering Heights by Kate Bush. It's no feeling! Jealousy, too hard, too greedy. How can-
wrong to me. No, um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very confused as to how I'm feeling towards you. I'm, I'm sensing new emotions I never felt before. How is that for you? Um, I loved it. God, God, you're beautiful. I just didn't want to let Kate down. You didn't? Ah. Well, let's find out if the panel think you did, though. It's unlikely. But, Lee Mack, what are you thinking? You know, I've, I've watched this programme many times, and a lot of comedians will come out here and they will play the opposite gender just to get cheap laughs. But tonight, <laughs> finally, <laughs> this young lady came out here and was happy to be herself. And for that, she's my winner so far. Ah, uh, she looked beautiful. Can I just say, I particularly like the kiss on my cheek, and yeah. I'm going to be honest, I was slightly sick in my own mouth. <laughs> Nice. And apart from that, a wonderful performance. And if Angelina Jolie and Ricky Hatton ever had a love child. <laughs> right, we, we'll move on, I think. Bit of lipstick on your cheek there, by the way. Jack, what did you think? I, it was just, I, it was beguiling, it was beautiful, it was <laughs> elegant. And it's left me worrying about my personal issues. I, I think, <laughs> no, next time I'm intimate with a lady and I shut my eyes, I will see you. And what worries me even more is that that will not disappoint me. You are beautiful. <laughs> If that's what Jack's saying, I'm scared to even ask. Keith, what are you, what are you thinking? No, well, um, you're very funny on television. It's fantastic. And also, but when, you, when you dress, you remind me of Dracula normally. <laughs> uh, and also look a bit like a hawk man. Uh, but tonight, uh, you remind me of Blossom from the 80s TV show Blossom. <laughs> and you also remind me of Bev from Brookside. I don't you remember her. <laughs> Um, but really, though, dancing-wise, your lines were amazing on your ass. Yes, lines. lovely amazing. lines. Thank you, Keith. I, I think he might be winner. Okay. Okay. Oh, winner. We'll see. Thank you, panel. Not at all similar to Dracula. So, if you're not wondering about Noel's oh, that's, withering, that's quite the stuff. That's good stuff. Then the number you need for later is 090-11-32-33-03. But remember, don't call yet. And, of course, some money raised from your calls will go to people having a tough time in Africa and throughout the UK. But for now, thanks very much.